Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade, chapter five, lesson two. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, we are gonna do number two. It says a six a factor of this number, which means can you multiply six by any number to get the number that they give you? Okay, well, if you don't have a multiplication chart yet, you should probably get one. And we're gonna go down and see if six goes into 56, 54, and 60. So, no into 42 yep seven times 66 yes 11 times okay so you guys can oh wants to know if five is a factor well if it ends in a five or a zero it's a factor if it does not then it's not a factor so 38 does not end in a five or a zero 45 ends in a five we're good okay you guys do seven and eight all right so, all right, number nine wants us to list the factors of 12, okay? So, we can do 1 times 12, right? All of these should end up being 12, okay? So, 1 and 12, okay? 2 times 6 and 3 and 4, okay? That's it, guys, okay? You guys do 25, you totally can. Okay, we're going to list all the factors for the pair that make up 48. Okay, you can make a table like this. I'm not going to take the time to do that. Okay, um, so the factors of 48 obviously, we have 1 and 48. It's an even number, so we're going to have 2 go down. Well, this one's not going to show us, but 24 times. Okay. Okay, three will, you guys are gonna need to be able to see this. Okay, so going into 48, three going into 48. Oh, right there, 16 times, so three times 16. Okay, we're gonna have four times 12. Okay, five is not doesn't end in a five or a zero, six times eight, okay? Seven does not, and nine would be in there somewhere already if it went in, okay? So those are our factors, factor pairs, okay? So, factor, okay, so it wants one times 48, Two times 24, three times 12, four, sorry, three times 16, not 12, four times 12, and six times eight. Okay, so it actually wants the pairs. Okay, sorry guys. All right, Bryson buys a bag of 64 plastic miniature dinosaurs. He could distribute them equally into six storage containers and not have any left over could he do that okay so 64 is that divided is that divisible by six okay well let's go down six and see if we can get to 64. we can get to 60 and we can get to 66 but we cannot get to 64. so no six does not go in to 64 evenly. Okay. Okay. The next one says Lori wants to distribute 35 peaches equally into baskets. She will use more than one, but fewer than 10 baskets. How many baskets does Lori need? Well, all right. Okay. Two doesn't go into 35. Three doesn't go into 35, four doesn't, five does, and five times seven. So they said that Lori would use more than one, but less than 10. Okay, so more than one, less than 10. Okay, so she could have five, four, seven baskets. 
Okay. All right, we're going to go on to the back. You guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. And we're going to go ahead and do the star review. Okay. All right. The spiral review says to write an expression that can be used to find 4 times 275 using mental math and properties of the numbers. Okay, so you could do, mm, let's see, okay, so 275 is about 300. So I could do 4 times 300. And then I could minus that four oops, times the 25. Sorry, we're going to, that's a multiplication sign. The 25, okay? Because there's 25 to get to the next 100. So I multiply three, or sorry, four times 300. And I'm going to subtract 4 times that 25, okay? Okay. So that would be your whole expression, okay? All right. Jack broke apart 5 times 216 is 5 times 200 and 5 times 16 to mentally, to multiply mentally. What strategy did he use? Well, he broke up 216 into 216, and then he multiplied the 5 onto both of those. That's the distributive property. Okay, all right, Jordan has $55. She earns $67 by doing chores. How much money does Jordan have now? All we gotta do is add up those two numbers. Okay, seven plus five is 12, carry the one. One plus six is seven, plus five is 12 again. Okay, don't forget to put your dollar sign, that's your label, that's your word label. Okay, Trina has 72 collector stamps. She puts 43 of the stamps into a stamp book. How many are left? Well, 72 minus 43. Okay, all right. Two cannot take away three, so I need to borrow one, making that 12. 12 minus three is nine, and six minus four is two. So 29, don't forget to write stamps, that's your label, okay? All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. 5.2, come on back to 5.3. See you soon.